We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question 1. Question 1 will ask you to speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here is an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question 2, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation. Natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow.